Hello and welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. In this video we're going to take a look at the trailer assortment that was in this style of packaging since 2013. It also existed before 2013 in different packagings and even before that it was called the 300 series. We're going to take a look at those older ones in a future Throwback Thursday episode. There's trailer sets in most majorette assortments. I've shown some in my previous videos in Vintage, City, Construction and Pinder. Check out those videos in my majorette playlist. The trailer assortment consists of articulated tractor trailer combos and cars with a trailer. So we're going to start with the 2013 trailer assortment and then go up uh, up until 2019, all the way up until 2019. The 2013 assortment uh, consisted of one bus, I don't have any of the buses, nine um, tractor trailer combinations and five cars with a trailer. So this is the only uh, tractor trailer combination I have of 2013. As you can see here, it says trailer on the packaging. Same packaging uh, until now, 2019, or pretty much the same. Uh, this time they did not have the um, production, uh, the packaging date on the cardboard, but they did have the uh, production date of the vehicle underneath. So this is already coming off. The glue is old. So this is a concept truck SN, it's the only uh, style uh, of concept truck I have. So these come off like this, so it's a COE style type of cab, so it just says majorette on the base. These are all in, the trucks at least are all in 1 to 100 scale, so production December, uh, October 2012 I mean. Skylink Deco, futuristic looking uh, rig. And then here's the trailer. It does have a stand, but it's a little bit uh, low. So this is an eight wheeler total combination. Doors open up in the back. So you have to, this is the pin, you have to uh, hook it sideways. That way, there's a little bit of play on them, but that's okay. I've got more of the vehicles than I have of the trucks from this year at least. So, for instance, this combination. So, as you can see, exactly the same packaging. It says trailer here. So, let's hook that up. Whoop, that was easy. So we got a Toyota Rev 4, the first generation. This is production March 2013. This one has suspension and is in 1 to 50 scale. As you can see, it's in a police deco. In the um, Majorat catalog, because we're going to go by the Majorat catalog and then uh, I will uh, tell you what the differences are. In the Majorat catalog, this was just a uh, picture of a black vehicle and no police livery. So they changed it up a little bit. So that's cool. I like it in this deco. Opening doors. And then here we got the uh, boat trailer or the Zodiac. Um, as you can see, the spare wheel kind of functions functions as a way to uh, keep the trailer attached to the um, trailer hitch. So it's kind of hard to get it on there. It's a little bit too close. For comfort, I should say, and I don't want to break it, so I'm probably going to leave it like that before I break it. And this is the um, the trailer. There's nothing on the base. It's a metal 
base trailer with a plastic um, boat or zodiac and a engine that kind of swivels like that that's kind of cool there's another Toyota RAV4 in this livery this is actually the uh, 2014 release but it was the same in 2013 you see again the trailer name on the card I'm going to have to open it like this again glue lets go easily this one is already attached to the vehicle as you can see you can't get it off like that because of the spare wheel so it works very well but it's also very dangerous to break it off so this one comes with a go-kart exactly the same casting also got the hand lens headlights by the way this is in a racing team livery usually I don't like the vehicle and the, the trailer have the same livery but because this is a uh, go-kart team it kind of fits that they have uh, the same livery on both of them I'll show the go-kart a little bit up close it's uh, mostly plastic I think but I'm fine with that because it's pretty small um, Seiko also does these uh, trailers with the uh, vehicles on them but they make them in metal and they make them so big they are often larger than uh, than the vehicle itself like for instance for instance a, uh, a snow scooter or a boat that is so ridiculously large or a, a motorbike that is so large that you know it's bigger than the, the car that's just it looks silly and I'm not a big fan of that so also the suspension of course and the opening doors this one has a black interior instead of a grey one then there's also a, a Toyota FJ I have it here in a older packaging not going to open this this is for the throwback Thursday episode because this is an older one and then there's also a um, Renault Clio in green with a motorbike trailer I have the blue version from 2014 to show that in a minute and the Mitsubishi Outlander in blue with a quad trailer now the quad trailer is the only one I don't have I have all the trailers except for the uh, quad trailer um, but we'll take a look at the um, the blue Mitsubishi Outlander a very nice model it's uh, very nicely done 164 scale it does not have suspension because there's no bars underneath got the nice chrome uh, lip here on the bottom it's got the headlights detailed Mitsubishi logo and in the back tail lights and the logo you got the trailer hitch with the little clip that holds the pin of the trailer this one is more flexible than the spare reload the RAV4 so very nice model then we go to 2014 2014 there were three buses again um, don't, don't have any of those four uh, of the uh, tractor trailer combinations and five cars with the trailer I have all of them so first up the Outlander in red instead of the blue one in 2013 now according to the catalog this also comes with the quad trailer but I have it here with the motorbike trailer so let's take a look at this combo so same base here it's production uh, September 2013 Here's the uh, metal trailer with the plastic motorbike on it. I think the motorbike comes off if you want it to. Although I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it does. But the back wheel is very, very difficult to get off. So I'm going to leave it like that. I don't want to force it. So here we're going to attach it this should be easier because it's a little bit flexible yeah there you go it's a little bit stiff but you know 
by a little bit wearing it out it will become a little bit easier to do yeah it's already much better so again it's also got the chrome lip here it's got the detailed headlights it's got the same rims it's got the uh, seven seats you can see the headrests of the back seats there motorcycle also runs a little bit large but not as large as the Siku ones those are huge and then we get uh, this one so this is a uh, window box they also come in window boxes they are a little bit more expensive then also has the trailer here trailer name on it the, the packaging date is here on the inside August 2014 now the downside of these window boxes is these cars can move around in it a lot and you will see that can have some consequences I did not see it when I bought it in a Toys R Us in Germany but the trailer hitch has broken off on the this VW Amarok so and the, the pin is gone and you know it's completely broken off inside you know even the, the lip here the thingy to move it backwards is broken off uh, I've said it before about the this VW Amarok it's uh, it's something that breaks off easily it's a great idea this um, trailer hitch you can slide in and out but you know it doesn't work very well suspension on this one opening hood or bonnet with some engine detail and headlights VW logo same on the back tempo lights logo and the name of the vehicle and then we got a road trailer there's also always a rubber band around it that of course has deteriorated from being so old so the zodiac is just clipped on here but it doesn't really it's not really fixed on there very solidly you know it's just it just sits on there let's say it like that so this is what it should look like then we got the Renault Clio in blue so this was a green version in 2013 and 2014 it's a blue version So here we got the Clio B85, the Mark II I think this is, 157 scale, February 2014 production, suspension, it's got the tampoed headlights, the Renault logo, taillights and the names on there. So this one also has the little clip on top for the trailer to stay on. So after going back and forth a little bit, it becomes a little bit looser. So you can really use it as it should. Also that year, I got this one, the orange RAV4 with the go-kart trailer. It was also available in 2014. And then we also got a Renault Bipper, this color, but possibly with different wheels, with the black boat trailer, so we can make this combination, because I have the vehicle. So this is a um, bumper that is part of the interior. You have the headlights, the Peugeot logo, you have full tempo on the side. And on the back, the lights, bipper name. So this is fully tempoed. So this also came with the black boat trailer, like that. 
This is also a 2014 combo. Then for the trucks, I only have this one for 2014. Again, you can see here it says trailer. No, it's not going to work. I'm going to just do it like this. So this is the MAN COE. Seen that before in lots of different series. Uh, these trailers are often difficult to get off. And this doesn't work here. So I'm going to have to do it like this. August 2014 production MAN TGX. 1 to 100 scale and then we get uh, the same it's uh, also an 8 wheeler semi container so we got the opening doors in the back as we saw on the other one pretty hard to open there you go so everything is the same here as we already saw Uh, you can see here the trailer has the old style wheels still where the uh, rig has the new style wheels so this is the kind of wheels we see nowadays then in 2015 2016 and 2017 it was the same assortment three buses three tractor trailer combinations and three cars with a trailer. First up we're going to take a look at this one. So you've already seen this car. I've showed it in my Citroën video. Again a little bit more expensive because it's a window box. So this one is still attached to the trailer, nothing has broken off, luckily. So here we got, uh, well, most of you already have seen this vehicle, but we can take a look at it. Oh yeah, some paint coming off when you take off the trailer, you see, that is the risk you take. So 164 scale Citroën C Crosser. This is a June 2015 production. No suspension, just like the Mitsubishi Outlander. It's basically the same car but different brand. Got some uh, tempos on the side. It is a little bit unusual for Majorette. This is a car you can only acquire in this. Uh, trailer assortment. So this is not sold in the singles. And then here is the Zodiac in blue this time. Yeah, it's a bit fiddly here to get it on and to have it stay on. Some are more snug than others. Then we also get the Renault Traffic with the blue boat trailer. So this is also exclusive to the um, uh, assortment of the trailers. I don't have my thingy again. To get this open but you've already seen this opened up so I'm not going to bother so same trailer here then the headlights the Renault logo it says adventure majorette on the side with some mountain view and some people in a boat got the tail lights and there's also this uh, Dacia duster with the with a green go kart, so I'm going to open up this one. This 
is a 2013 production Got suspension and headlights and grill the lights the name the logo this even has an opening feature back then in the street cars some cars had opening feature nowadays that's not the case anymore that's reserved for the premium cars so the um, go-kart trailer let's see if we can take this off of there yep this works so this is a combo also 2015 16 and 17 but with a green go-kart so not the orange one but the green one but you get the picture then we go to the three uh, trucks I have all three of them it's the first one is the speedboat trailer So this time we got the MAN TGX in black December 2016 production it comes with a speedboat trailer I think you can take this one off yeah like that now I probably think some of you or I'm guessing some of you will ask the question will it float now if you look at the fact that you know this is open here I think it will float uh, until water gets in between here and then it gets in there and then it will sink bottom part seems to be pretty well sealed up so if you can have it on the water and not you know move around too much so that water uh, can uh, get in there it will work but yeah it's it would be tricky because it's definitely not uh, sealed up here on the where these two parts are joined together so if that was the case maybe it would have a better chance of uh, staying afloat but with a little bit of uh, moving of the water it will sink I'm afraid so I got a metal trailer that is green doesn't say anything except for some uh, codes on it so this part here with the uh, I don't know what these are exhaust or something well, probably not just to uh, propel the water I guess this fits in there I think you first push in the front and then you lower the back and then it clicks in so you can see all the same wheels the trailer has the new wheels also then we got the semi tank trailer also the MAN but in a gray color and here we get the uh, tank trailer same one as we saw in the pinder video oh, this one comes off very easy so this just says majorette the number and then uh, the scale down there this does a better job of standing on its own this, this, is, this piece is a little bit longer and we can take a look at the uh, MEN a bit more up close lots of detail on it very detailed casting and then the last one for 15 16 and 17 is this semi container this time a 10 wheeler instead of the eight wheelers we saw before again the gray man it's the same and we got this newer style container trailer continental motorcycle tires tires get the grip these doors do not open this is also the same trailer as in the pender video so you got partially metal base got the wheels that have suspension And then in 2019 
we only get three buses and three uh, tractor trailer combinations no more cars with a trailer those were are all in the uh, other assortments this one returns in 2018 and 2019 not only 2019 2018 2019 but with a little difference this is a, a silver cab I don't have it because I, I thought I had it because I saw Continental and I thought well I have that one don't have to buy one but it's a little different it's silver and not dark gray and the deco is different on the trailer and it's kind of integrated in the on the COE cab so it kind of continues over here uh, very nicely done so I'm going to have to get that one one day if I find it again then new for 2018 and 19 this one is going to be a lot of white flaking because I know some of you, of you know my beef with the majorette white paint and this is a great example of that so here we have the same MEN in a blue livery blue color with a Eco fuel livery, propulsé, propulsé par, powered by Cycle Capital. I don't know if that is a real livery or not, I couldn't tell you. Then we got the uh, semi tanker trailer. So, bottom part is metal, top part is plastic. Victory Power Engine Energy, Eco fuel. So here you can see on the the axles the white paint is coming off and so that's uh, no bueno don't like that but they all had that I compared like I don't know 10 or 15 different ones they all had this the same issue and that's just simply due to the white majorette paint that is no good the metal flake one the metal flake white paint that's okay no problem with that but the uh, the non-metallic paint no good and then the last one is this speedboat trailer new version This is a July 2018 production. So this is a silver one. Yacht Charter, it says. We don't get no headlight tempos because it's silver. And then this time the boat trailer, the yacht trailer is dark gray. The rest is the same as we saw on the other one the, the yacht this time a uh, you can see again it's it's open so not going to be afloat for a long time red on the bottom white on the top no interior on it so that's the last one for 2018-2019 but as usual the, I saw some extra cars that were not in the catalog for starters I saw this Ford F-150 in grey this is my premium cars version with opening hood or bonnet at the lens uh, no, sorry, no hand lensed headlights, but all tempoed in the front and tempos in the back. And this one comes with the blue Zojack. So, I'm going to try to get that attached here. Yep, there you go. So that's another combination you can find that is not in the catalog and also this yellow Jeep Wrangler 
with the green card the one I don't have but I'll show it with the uh, orange card there you go but that's also a combo maybe you want to see the car I've shown it before on my channel but I'll show it again lens headlights very nice detailed grill Rubicon on the hood or bonnet got the plastic top here tail lights spare wheel so that's it for this video I thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already I hope to see you again next time bye bye